Oh yeah. Typecasting. Typecasting is the ability to convert a value to a different data type. It's useful when we accept user input because when the user types in something, it's going to be a string, and strings can only do so many things, and different data types can perform different things, so it may be necessary to convert from one data type to another. Like for example, we can't use strings for any sort of math, we would need to convert a string to an integer or a double to be able to use a string representation of a number. So let's begin. Let's say we would like to convert a double to an integer. Let's create a double variable named a, and I'll assign this a value of 3.1 for the first few digits of pi. So what we could do if we wanted to convert this number to an int, we could store this within a separate variable. Let's say int b equals, now to convert this value to an integer, we can use the convert classes to int 32 method. So convert dot to int 32 parentheses semicolon. And within the parentheses, I'm going to place what I want to convert. I'm going to convert the value stored within a and then assign it to variable b. And then let's display this variable with a right line statement. So console dot right line, and then I will display whatever b is. Then let's try it. And the value stored within a b is 3. So if we convert a double to an integer, it's going to truncate any decimal portion if there is any. So since we wrote this program this way, it's not going to get rid of the value within a. So if I were to display a, it's going to be 3.14. All we did is that we took the value stored within a and created a copy of it, then converted it to an integer and stored it within b. It's also possible to display the data type of whatever variable that we're working with. So after a within our right line method, type dot get type, then add a set of parentheses. This is the get type method. So this will display instead of the value stored within a, it's going to display the data type of whatever a is. So the data type of a is currently a double. Now let's change this to b b dot get type and our variable b is an integer int 32 so if you need the data type of a variable follow that variable with dot get type then a set of parentheses this is a built-in method of variables let's convert an int to double this time let's create int c equals what about one two three and we'll create double d equals convert dot to double then parentheses semicolon within the parentheses we will convert c so place that within there and within a right line statement we will display whatever d is console dot right line d so if your double doesn't contain like a decimal portion it's not going to display like 0, 0.0 but if i were to add like 0 0.1 to the end of this then it will display a decimal portion. So 123.1. And the data type of D, let's follow this with the get type method. So the data type of D is in fact a double. Okay, now let's convert an integer to a string. We'll need int, what about E? E equals three to one. And I'll create string F equals convert dot to string. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? Then parentheses, semicolon, then pass in E. So place that within the parentheses and we will display whatever F is. Console dot right line, the value stored within F. And that will be three, two, one. So a string we can't use for any arithmetic, but with ints and doubles we can. So if we convert an integer to a string, we can no longer use this for any math. But if we converted a string to an integer, then we can use it for any sort of math. So let's follow this with get type method f.getType. And the data type of f is in fact a string. Okay, exercise number three. Let's convert a string to a char. A char is just a single character. String g equals so a string is always within double quotes what about the dollar sign and a char is always within single quotes we treat strings and chars differently you can store a single character within a string however strings are different from chars there's different things that we can do so let's say char 
What comes after G? E, F, G, H. Char H equals convert dot to char. Then of course, parentheses, semicolon. Within the parentheses, we will place G and then display whatever H is. So console dot right line H. So H will still be a dollar sign, but we treat it different because it's a character. There's different things that we can do. Then let's get the type of whatever H is. And H is a char, a single character. Okay, last but not least, let's convert a string to a Boolean. String I equals true within double quotes. So this is different from true without double quotes because this is a Boolean and right now we're getting an error. So it represents a Boolean true or false. A string is always within double quotes. So we would treat this string different from this Boolean even though they say the same thing. Okay, then let's convert this string to a Boolean. Type bool, not cool. Bool j equals convert dot to boolean parentheses semicolon pass in i then we will display whatever j is console dot right line j and this will display true then let's get the type of this variable so j dot get type method and the data type of j is a boolean now all right, everybody, so that's how to typecast. We can convert a value to a different data type, and it's really useful when we accept user input because it's always going to be a string. And there's different things that we can do with different data types, so it may be necessary to convert from one data type to another. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, that's typecasting in C-sharp.